Hello my beautiful Pisces, thank you so much for your patience with me. Um, this is your belated October reading, let's get straight into it. I did do a pre-shuffle so I already kind of get a, um, an idea of what's going on for you. I can see you wanting to explore new horizons. It's like you're in a really good place but you're just feeling a little bit flat or something. Okay, so let me explain. So you've got so many nice energies going on. Um, we've got rainbow blessings, you know, blessings are showering your life. And then you've got love throws, love flows through you and to you, voyage of the heart. So love's looking good. There's a caveat to that, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, and I just, I'm seeing a lot of happiness around you in the rainbows, in the hearts. Um, what else? Where, where are my cards? Over here. Um, but, yeah, look, there's a lot of beauty around you. We've got wondrous universe here. We've got miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge, okay? But what I'm seeing for you is you're ready for something new and exciting. Look at these cards here. We've got navigating by the stars and choosing your path. These are two people that want to take a leap of faith and go on a new journey, like the full card in the tarot. The only difference is one is shrouded in darkness and the other you know is very clear about where he's going what he's going to do so some of you might be unsure what it is that you want to do going forward others of you are a little clearer about what would give you that sense of, sense of satisfaction and fulfillment but there's not a lot of movement yet you're kind of at a crossroads because you have so much fulfillment in your current circumstances and you're worried about you know stuffing that up you know why change something good why fix something that isn't broke that kind of mentality um and you are enjoying the journey there's there is a lot of goodness a lot of um enjoyment where you currently are but i feel like just like this fox he knows he's got the skills and the resources to take him to to take him on an, a new adventure and he's got a map he does have a destination in mind but he's making plans that there, there is no movement just yet and in another deck that's what i could see look at this woman she wants to enter an unfamiliar secret or unused room she wants to explore a new path But there's something stopping you. This card is a card about someone feeling trapped, confined, imprisoned, you know, um, you're, you're being held back by something. The card is saying you've intuitively understood your situation, you've looked at all possible options, but you're unable to find a way out. In other words, part of being stuck is to do with indecision. Okay. So you need to pay attention to your dreams. You need to reevaluate and refresh. It's time to find new ways to move forward. That's what this card is saying. All right, so very interesting, clear messages coming through for you. You've got go forward fearlessly and you've got explore your options. This is where you're currently at. You're exploring your options. You haven't made any decisions yet, no concrete decisions. You're just seeing what's possible. You're assessing the alternative options. What is possible for you going forward? And just like you created your current situation that you're in right now, you 
are the author of your life. You are the master of your destiny. You have the ability to change course if you so wish. This card is saying you created this situation and you have the power to change it. So, you know, you have that personal power to manifest, to create, okay, whatever you want. So that's what I'm seeing generally to begin with um, for you in the month of October, exploring what's possible. I'm also being shown to be careful with technology this month. I feel like for you, you're going to be affected by communication and technology. Um, things might go a bit awry for you in that respect. So computers, anything mechanical, technological um, might fail you this month. That's just a little warning for you. Nothing to be too worried about. I wouldn't make any huge investments, um, you know, like buying a new car or a new watch or something um, to do with technology. It's kind of like Mercury retrograde energy for you. But also I'm being drawn to the watch in this card. So it's, it's saying, don't sit on this decision. Don't believe you have all the time in the world. I want you to start making moves towards your goals. Okay, it's no good to just wait and see what the universe may bring um, or what opportunities come your way. I feel like you need to get clear about what you want rather than sit back and be passive, all right? That's what I'm getting. Now, where do these cards go? There. Okay. I just want to do some more cards generally before we get on to love. Okay. So what's going on for Pisces generally in October? okay so this is you wanting to take that trip that leap of faith that new adventure that journey okay it's coming through really clear some of you will want to actually go on a journey a physical journey and explore distant horizons, okay? For others of you, it's your life purpose. You want to do a complete change of occupation, all right? Um, yeah, so something's coming to an end and there will be change. I'm seeing this uh, a lot um, for, for many of the signs for October. I'm seeing new work ventures for... Um, I, I saw it a lot in terms of the fire signs, but it's coming through for you as well. But you'll know what I'm talking about, okay, intuitively. You're a very intuitive sign, Pisces. All right. Um, let's get on with it. Uh, let's do love. So what I'm seeing is, and I think this came out last time in your September reading, you are trying to forgive some kind of deception. We've got forgiving and learning. We've got deception. We've got trust. So obviously, um, you know, the natural coincidence, the natural um, consequence of someone betraying your trust and deceiving you is trust issues within a relationship. So you're still working on them. You're still forgiving. You're still learning from, um, you know, what's happened. There will be a reconciliation if you're waiting for things to um, repair or mend uh, with someone you're already involved with and you've been separated from. So there will be a coming back together. You will decide to give your relationship another chance. But maybe this deception is to do with some kind of addiction. The other person 
you know, succumbed to some kind of addiction, whether that was a sex addiction and it was cheating, whether that was some kind of substance abuse issue, um, or yeah, some addiction, gambling, can be anything. Um, and that's where the deception kind of came into play in terms of your relationship. So I feel like that's what you're working through at the moment. Let's see what the tarot has to say, Pisces. So, you know, codependency is just kind of a, a toxic dynamic in a relationship where someone's engaging in, in sabotaging behaviours. Behaviours that sabotage not only themselves, but the, the actual relationship. It doesn't work if one person is um, dysfunctional. It just, you know, it throws the relationship out of balance. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Pisces in love, please. Show me clearly. Who are they dealing with? What's going on in love for them? Now, I'm getting pain in my uh, wisdom teeth area or, or, you know, the back of my jaw. Um, so I, I'm getting dental problems for, for my Pisces this month. So watch that. Okay. Maybe um, the, the addiction was working too much. Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. But I feel like this is you also, you know, looking for something more fulfilling in terms of work and you focusing on that. You're wanting to manifest some kind of change, some kind of new journey, some kind of new adventure. That's what I'm getting with the magician. But you could also be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo because the magician is ruled by the planet Mercury. Okay. There is a, there's been separation, that's for sure, okay? So there was an injustice committed against you in the relationship. We've got the justice card in the reverse. Something was out of balance. It could be that addiction or codependent relationship where one person was making all the effort um, and the other person was just taking, taking, taking and not giving back in return. But the justice card is something unfair, something unequal, some, some unfair treatment towards you and it's caused this relationship to be um, separated in separation mode, disconnection, okay? The, the Four of Swords is a card about seclusion, isolation, loneliness and the need for healing, okay? Again, addictions. Someone could be overindulging, okay? We can see a very indulgent man here. He's quite overweight and he's surrounded by nine cups. This could be alcoholism. Okay. Let's see. What's going on for Pisces, please, in love? Show me clearly. could be dealing with an Aries or this could be control issues codependency can also be you know someone being possessive and controlling within a relationship that's certainly a sabotaging behavior isn't it show me clearly what's going on for Pisces in love Again, the emperor just came out. So strong Aries energy doesn't have to be. The devil card was just staring up at me. That is addictions. That is codependency. So that is definitely affecting your love life right now. All right, so what's in store, Pisces? Here we go. Okay, so this is separation again, a lack of communication, someone feeling left out in the cold. 
a blockage, something coming in between the two of you, okay? This is a stalemate situation, an obstacle, a setback within this relationship. Again, control issues. The magician card is, is power. And we also have the emperor. Control. And then we have the six of swords. This could be you actually physically moving on, going on a journey away from this relationship, away from this person, this connection. Or it could be you are sailing towards karma, emotional waters. You're forgiving and you're learning. Six of swords. Okay, again, we've got the four of swords here. Seclusion, separation. We have the page of pentacles in the reverse. Now the page of pentacles in the upright is the getting to know each other card. It's the mutual attraction. It's, you know, the early stages of a relationship. You know, it's, it's a mutual connect attraction and it's growing in terms of, um, you know, the relationship is developing, it's maturing. It's that early stage of the relationship. But when the page is in the reverse, it's like, there's been an interruption. Someone's dropped the ball and it's no longer moving forward, okay? Someone's at a crossroads with the Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting to see if this person is going to correct their sabotaging behaviors. Are they going to show you that um, they've changed their ways? That kind of energy. Seven of Pentacles is waiting and watching, observing. After heartbreak, after betrayal, grief, The Three of Swords. There's definitely a sense of you are watching them or they're watching you on social media. They're observing, they're thinking, observing, or this is you watching them to see if their behavior has actually changed. That's the Page of Swords. That's observation, that's surveillance, watching. Can this person put in the necessary effort, the necessary work? To make this relationship work, we've got the Three of Pentacles, a card about teamwork and effort. Are they going to, you know, fulfill their end of the bargain? That kind of thing. But we have two threes here. We've got the Three of Swords and we have the Three of Pentacles. This often suggests that there could be a third party situation, not necessarily. I'm just saying for some of you, there will have been some kind of affair. Um, because, you know, you did get the deception card. You've got the betrayal card here, the three of, of swords. And we do have the ace of wands here. So this could have been an affair. These two cards together, three of swords and the ace of wands. This could be some kind of cheating taking place, an indiscretion, okay? A sexual indiscretion. The ace of wands is, is a card about passion and sex. But I did see reconciliation taking place. So it could be because the two of you feel passionate towards each other and there's a passionate new beginning in store for you both after this period of separation. Let's see what the other person wants. What does the other person that Pisces is dealing with, what do they want from this connection? What do they want with Pisces? Show me clearly. Now, this is a general reading, guys. It's not going to resonate with every single person. So please use your better judgment. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Yeah, I definitely feel like there could have been a third party here. We have the Queen of Wands. This can be the mistress. And it can be the ex from the past because it's next to the Six of Cups. So there could have been some, some um, ex interfering in this relationship. All right, Queen of Wands next to the Six of Cups. An ex comes back into play. Yep, judgment, something being reborn um, or, you know, coming back from the dead. The judgment is something about the past coming back. Okay. So if you're a male Pisces, you know, um, you can expect a female, an ex of yours to come back into the picture somehow. Or if you're a female Pisces and you're dealing with um, the person that you're involved with um, <clears throat> has been in contact somehow with their ex. 
okay? But you know how it applies to you, all right? It's going to be different for everyone. What's going on for Pisces? Show me clearly. Okay, there's definitely a sense of the past um, because I don't know why this Wheel of Fortune has come out in the upright, but I it looked like it was in the reverse, and that for me is always a past influence, something coming back um, in. Um, maybe it was a chance meeting with an ex, but... With the Four of Cups in the reverse, it's definitely that sense of forgiving and learning taking place. Someone's trying to apologize here to this person and they don't know whether they want to accept the apology. They don't know if what is being offered is going to be enough to turn this situation around. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Again, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. You're at a crossroads. You think you might be putting in all the effort to make this work and that's not good enough. Okay? This person that you're dealing with is impulsive. Can they get their addictions and impulses under control? Can they keep their animal instincts and desires under wraps? Can they exercise self-control? Can they heal their addictions? We have the temperance card here. This is healing. This is acting with um, restraint. This is moderation, moderating their behavior. Okay, there's some kind of battle here between it's it's if it's not a third party, it's the addiction that's the third party influence. Okay, if it's not the ex that's come back into the picture, it's a battle between you, the person you're dealing with, and the addiction. It's taken on a life of its own. Okay, here's the past energy again coming in judgment. Can this person wield this sword of truth and clarity and cut this past out? In the end, if this injustice isn't righted, if this imbalance isn't corrected, justice restored, I feel you will be moving on from this person, okay? If they can't put in the necessary effort, Six of Pentacles, I feel you'll be going your separate ways. You'll be moving on. This Three of Swords has definitely made this relationship, it, it's, it's put this relationship on pause. Okay, it's not moving. It's stuck. With the Chariot in the reverse, there's no progression here. Okay, there's no momentum. Um, the chariot in reverse always means something is stagnant and stuck. So this heartbreak, this betrayal is what has caused this separation and whether or not justice can be restored. That's yet to be seen. But the positive thing is we have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. But look at what he's walking away from and towards. This person is walking away from cups. This could be alcohol. This could be addiction. This person is walking away from this towards union. So there will be a reconciliation. I do see a happy ending, okay? Yeah, look, I do see victory. I do see um, the Page of Pentacles is now in the upright, okay? So I feel like um, they're willing to give this relationship a chance, do the necessary work. There's definitely unfinished business. There's things to be righted here, wrongs to be righted. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. This is the relationship not coming to an end just yet. If it was the Ten of Swords in the upright, this is completion this is a definite ending okay but it hasn't come to an end just yet this person has a lot of work to do a lot of convincing to do though um i'm just going to pull a simple love advice card pisces 
for some practical advice what you can do to improve this situation or if you're completely single what you can do to manifest a soulmate based on the energies at play in October Pisces what does Pisces need to know please in terms of love please show me Don't try and force anything. Okay, you've got square hole, round peg. Just allow things to unfold. Don't try and change somebody. Um, they have to want to change on their own accord. Allow them to show you how committed they are to you. How much effort they're willing to put in to, to restore justice. Let go of all expectations of them because not only is that placing too much pressure on them and the relationship, but it's only going to lead to disappointment for you. So all you can do is be the best version of yourself. Raise your vibration and they can either meet you where you're at and match your vibration or they don't and in which case you move on to bigger and better okay one step at a time don't rush things have patience all right addictions aren't healed overnight relationships aren't fixed overnight you need to be patient um, and allow things to unfold naturally in terms of those of you um, who haven't met someone yet it's, it's asking you to be patient and enjoy the getting to know you process. Again, let go of your expectations. that are only going to lead to disappointment. Allow the situation to be what it needs to be. It's only temporary. Things will improve. And if this person can't overcome... This toxic behavior, this, this addiction, release them and wish them well. And then and know that whatever happens is best for the both of you, okay? I really hope this helps. Leave me feedback in the comments section. I'm always grateful for that and I will see you guys next month. Bye.